Hey YouTube, it's Weird Paw. It's time once again for my monthly thrift store score video. Today, we'll take a look at my thrift store haul from April of 2017. Everything that you see in this video was purchased at a thrift store, and unless I say so, everything cost a dollar or usually much less. Let's start off today with books and magazines. I got a couple more classic Peanuts books for my collection. Snoopy and As You Like It, Charlie Brown. They're in nice shape. I got this huge 1979 film book, The Silent Clowns, and this original Ziggy, When You're Not Around, 1968 greeting card book from American Greetings. Pock Snackle Crap. I also got the manga La Corda de Oro and this Small Luminators comic book. I got a 1998 issue of Circus Magazine and a 2001 issue of Hit Parader. It has a Kurt Cobain tribute. Check it out, a 1979 issue of Woman's Day. Look at this electronic play and playback organ. How to make a Chewbacca costume out of a couple mops. Remember buckwheats? If you shampooed yesterday, will he do this today? Ooh, how kinky. And I got a 1978 issue of Mad Magazine. No cover, but for 15 cents, I can't complain. Let's move on to miscellaneous stuff. I got this whale eraser and this classic shaped cow eraser. A couple of Wade ceramic animals, a monkey and a rhino. These would have come in boxes of tea. A mini Louisiana license plate, a postage stamp from some Eastern European country, a Hello Kitty folder, and this golfer who might have been a cake decoration. Some random stickers, and these Kellogg's baseball stickers are from 1992, and some trash pack stickers. Arcade gaming finds are represented by these old tilt tickets, and this 2004 Chuck E. Cheese token. Here's some 1983 and 1986 dated Christmas ornaments that I believe came from Maxwell House Coffee. And this Norman Rockwell ornament is a 1996 J.C. Penney exclusive. New pins. These must have been made specifically for me. Booinat. And back to mono. No thanks, I prefer stereo. New magnets from Monty Python's Spamalot. The Mel Brooks musical Young Frankenstein. This old googly eye rooster. And best of all, this 1978 Tony Jr. magnet from Kellogg's. I got patches from Moraine Trail's Camp of Coco. Carol and the Russ Berry Berry Christmas patch. For a dollar, I got this car vac to help tidy up my vehicle. And the box makes it clear that it is extremely new. I got some random photos, a fairy test face drawing. I guess these are Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. It's a bear. The bear is a baseball player. Here's someone's report on the Steelers. This gets the run-on sentence award. Mean Joe Green, who sparkled at defensive tackle for the Steelers from 1969 to 1981, recorded one of the most memorable TV commercials of all time, commercials, which feature or Mean Joe trading his jersey to a young fan for a bottle of Coke was later extended into a full-length movie. Here's a letter from a lawyer. I'm sorry I lost my case for you in the patterson Robs Big Lots case. I had a hard time finding where to mail this letter to you since you had to move out of your trailer and into a box. What's it like to live there? Well, write back if you can save up enough money to buy a paper and pen and a stamp. Check this out, a 1980 edition of Nabisco News. And if you pledge on my $18 Patreon level, you got one of these in your envelope this month. Here's a 1969 ad for the grocery store thoroughfare. Hey, Grandma, save 10 cents off your favorite brand of prunes. I got an ancient Dippy Dope cartoon. Nine witnesses will testify in probe into Tot's murder. Ugh. I got a far more bag, and I'm excited that I found this Vintage Hills bookmark. I found an Anita Blake Vampire Hunter limited edition print, a 2016 Marilyn Monroe calendar, and a couple of prints of a redhead doing yoga. I got a 1998 Peanuts Joe Cool Metal Lunchbox, a handful of guitar picks, a souvenir of New Orleans, the instructions from two early 90s Tiger Electronics Disney LCD games, and keychains from Reservation Animal Rescue, Got Milk, this awesome flashing skull, and this Kennywood viewer that still has the photo inside of the girl who bought it. I paid a little over a dollar for this big bag of postcards. There are a lot from Italy, but they are literally from all over the world. This was a great find. A vintage Foodland robot plastic cup from a local grocery store chain. 
and it has a poem on the back. Foodland's friendly robot. His parents, a microcomputer, and a washing machine, a leapin. Our robot's been shopping at Foodland since he first started beep beep beeping. Now he's singing and dancing in our aisles each day, for he loves to hear all the nice things Foodland customers say. Okay, let's move on to this month's video scores. Here are some DVDs that I got for mostly a nickel each. Got the Unnameable 2, Decoys, Sweet Evil, Carnal, Pie, Skeleton Man, Hannibal Rising, and Annie. I got Roller Coaster Thrills 2 in 3D. Ah, get me off this thing! This looks like fun, Grandmasters of Wrestling. Most Haunted Castles of Britain, the generic 15 films horror. You're so scary, bro. Big Box of Horror, nine movies. Yeah, but there's only five movies on it. The Arabian Nights, and Down Among the Z-Men. I watched this in the hospital back in 2015 while I was waiting to have my gallbladder out. Plus, I got some volumes of French Scopatones. Scopatones were the music videos of the 1960s. They're colorful and fun. Look at this one for the locomotion. Here's my VHS scores, 25 to 50 cents each. Got the Tomb on Inner Global, Fort Apache the Bronx on Vestron, Bikini Beach on Embassy, Carnival of Souls, The Unborn 2, Terror at the Red Wolf Inn, Evil Clutch, Two Thorn EMI Clamshells, Genesis, Three Sides Live, and Death on the Nile, and this Star Classics Joe Lewis story, closest thing to a big box VHS that I could find. But the real VHS scores were these. These tapes are filled with stuff taped straight from HBO in 1983 and 1984, which includes the original promos, the introductions, and I'm very pleased to say, video jukebox. Finding those was like finding one of my holy grails, but later that same week, I found these. Friday Night Videos from 1985. The entire shows. Tonight on Friday Night Videos, Arcadia, Billy Ocean, Mick Jagger, even the commercials. Retro Heaven. It's time to move on from video to audio, and what a month for audio. I got two cassettes, the B-52's Bouncing Off the Satellites and Robin Trower's Passion. I also got this 1985 Crazy Calls tape, wacky messages for your answering machine. I'm glad you called, but I'm not home, but I'll be back before too long. You gotta seek your stop and your number two, and this is all you got to do. Wait for the beat. I wish I'd found this 1992 Ralston Purina Mission Impossible contest cassette, but only the cover was in the empty case. Next up, 12-inch vinyl that was between a quarter and a dollar each. I got Gentle Giants, Giant for a Day, the Dixie Dregs, Night of the Living Dregs, Traffic's John Barleycorn Must Die, Aerosmith's Toys in the Attic, the Alan Parson Project's Tales of Mystery and Imagination, Edgar Allan Poe, the Gap Band 5, and their 13-minute special disco mix of You Dropped a Bomb on Me. Plus, no cover sleeves on the Pointer Sisters' Breakout, and the Rubinos' Back to the Drawing Board. I got 37 45 RPM records. Too many to show, but here's some of the highlights. Take Off by Bob and Doug McKenzie. Prince's Let's Work. The Tubes, She's a Beauty. Only Women Bleed by Alice Cooper. Paul Simon, Kodachrome. A few James Brown records. Hocus Pocus by Focus, Fox on the Run by Sweet, Hong Kong Garden by Susie and the Banshees, and my favorite, Autobahn by Kraftwerk. And there were picture sleeves from The Captain and Tennille, Whitney Houston, Nazareth, and Morris Day. I paid a whole 50 cents for that one. Now we have CDs, and I still can't believe what I found. First we have single disc CDs, a nickel each. Louis Armstrong, Bo Diddley, Dire Straits, Nick Lowe, Chuck Willis, The Fabulous Thunderbirds, The Birds, Billy Joel, Little Richard, The Blues Breakers, Herman's Hermits, Western Music's Late Golden Era, Count Basie, Metallic Alive, Buck Owens, and Elvis Costello. Two CD sets for 30 cents each. Michael Jackson, Bo Diddley, Sonny Boy Williamson, Blues Classics, Derek and the Dominoes, and The Doors and CD box sets, 60 cents each. 
Hank Williams, Carl Perkins, Graham Parsons, Professor Longhair, and the Steel Guitar Story. And that brings us to our final category, Toys and Games. Mostly this month, I got hundreds of trading cards. I don't collect sports cards seriously, but I grabbed over 190s football cards and over 190s hockey cards. These two came in packages of Clark Bun candy bars. Just a few baseball cards, but these are special. They're 1989 Topps Baseball Talk cards. They have a plastic disc on the back that would play audio on a special player. They were mostly a failed product. You're out! And I got this Fleer NBA basketball card collector sheet. But I also got lots of non-sports cards. 47 Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle the movie cards, 4 TMNT cartoon cards, 2 Ghostbusters 2 cards, a Simpson card, a Batman card, 2 Nick Kid cards from Pizza Hut, 8 Desert Storm cards, 5 Marvel Masterpiece cards, 2 Barbie cards, 9 Upper Deck Looney Tunes cards, 19 Plants vs. Zombies cards, 27 club cards featuring presidents, sharks, and these United States, 1 National Park Service card, one Transformers card, one Power Rangers card, and four Pokemon cards. I also found one Walt Disney Robin Hood Pog. And I got a case to keep my Bakugan Battle Brawlers in. When I fill this up, I'll be done collecting them. I also got a Trash Packs collector case. It'll take a while to find all of these. I also got a few miscellaneous small toys and figures. One Mighty Bean, a Playmobil dude, a few football guys, a couple gaming figures, a couple of smilers, this guy, a Hello Kitty, a couple pirates and a spaceman, a grimace, and a can of Del Monte fruit cocktail. Damn! I was excited to find this TV Games Plug and Play Space Invaders controller. This has 10 games, seven of which I've never played. But boy, do I love Bubble Bobble. But this 1980 Fisher Price toy airplane is one of my finds of the month. We played with the Fisher-Price Airport a lot when I was a kid. I spent more than usual this month buying all those CDs, but I still got everything that you saw in this video for about $32. I hope that you enjoyed seeing my thrift store score from April of 2017. If you did, don't forget to click on the like button down below. I'll see you soon with more memories. Thanks, YouTube.